All right, so uh, this is going to be a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Iron as well, rising weekly uh, general tarot reading, January 20th to January 26th, 2020. And uh, that being said, guys, if you do want a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below of uh, this video where you're gonna find a, a link to my website. Um, another thing is that uh, I'm gonna try something different here. Um, this is going to be a, a string reading, meaning uh, no specific no specific positions. It is just seven cards coming one after another. So let's try this one out. Uh, first one for you, Pisces here, uh, that will be the Six of Swords. So that will be uh, quite of a... Um, I don't know if I have to classify it as an exciting or as a agitating week. It's kind of like it's it will be a week where you are going to be um, constantly sharp, if I may express it that way. For a reason, for a couple of reasons here now, Six of Swords, it is a, um, a sign that throughout this week, some actions and decisions from you are to be required in order to improve your circumstances, either career or relationship wise. And the other reason with the Six of Swords, it is that you will need to convince those around you or specific people around you uh, into your uh, into the righteousness or the benefit uh, or the benefits of your goal and of your aim, so you can win allies. Either way, this week this card is a sign that that week it's a a point. It's kind of like it's a milestone for you that you need to trespass or traverse, if you will. So you can uh, you can find yourself on new shores or uh, on the other side where you can start forging up a better circumstances for yourself, for your marriage, for your career, if you will, for your business and so on and so forth. So you so you have to be tough. I mean, what it, it's kind of like you should not allow uh, your decision making to be clouded by emotional states. You should not allow as well your actions to be clouded by, for example, pity or to be clouded by a um, exaggerated self-righteousness you need to find how can I say it the the right measures okay and that will happen only if you not give yourself away to the fear of the consequences of those actions now the thing with the six of swords is that one thing is that the um, actions that they are going to do are going to have a big negative repercussions upon their life while that is not the reality. Now the next card is going to be the, the uh, Queen of Wands and we do have a person here which uh, stands around you in one way or another. So Queen of uh, Wands it is, uh, these kind, it is uh, an archetype that, uh, how can I say it, it's very skilled, okay? Queen of Wands is one of these people that can always find the way, and I do believe that for you, that is what happens. You and that Queen of uh, Wands are finding the way how to make this transition here with the Six of Swords much more bearable, if you will. Now, uh, the, the thing with the Queen of uh, the uh, with the Queen of Wands, it is the Queen of Wands likes to be praised the queen of wands likes to be recognized and for that reason it will be a good thing moving along the way to give her credit about the accomplishments that you both are going to achieve uh thing with the queen of wands another thing with the queen of wands is that the queen of wands knows exactly your traits knows exactly uh your pluses and your minus in in your minuses what i mean what you are good at and what you're not good at and so therefore uh it looks like that uh queen of wands the person that it is marked by the queen of wands is gonna point you into the right direction very good person to make business with as the queen of wands has an, an extremely good um, or sharp i would say business sense romantically wise it's a bit rough with her, it's because she is quite of a um, a piece to be swallowed. I mean, it does give a lot of challenges to be with her romantically and emotionally connected. Next one, um, we have the Eight of Swords. So um, another confirmation with the third card this week is all about logically 
made decisions, logically made uh, or established actions. Eight of Swords tells us that throughout the week here, you may feel kind of like um, obstructed was the word that I was searching for. It is like you are facing a wall and you cannot overcome this wall. That is for a reason that those limitations that are obstructing you of moving forward are self-imposed limitations. And this is where the Queen of Wands kicks in here to uh, help you relieve yourself from those self-imposed limitations. So in other words here in this week, guys, you are going to start thinking and performing outside of the box that you have established for yourself. Uh, another thing with the Eight of Swords, it is that throughout the week you may have those kind of like very rough time of explaining yourself into people. Uh, kind of like you will struggle getting your points across and if that's the case, it is always about elaboration because these disruptions into communication with the Eight of Swords, they have to, and they can, excuse me, and they have to be overcome, especially when it comes to in between you and this archetype of a, a person queen of um, queen of wands but the biggest thing with the, with the eight of swords here pisces it's about the truth because the eight of swords um, makes you a slave if you do not recognize the truth and it gives you freedom if you do recognize it what i mean it is that you already know how the things stand okay and if you are trying to ignore it or kind of like if you try to um, deceive yourself that that's not the case, then you are going to be a slave to the circumstances that are not right, that are not correct. But if you do recognize that that is how it is and you just have to move on with it or get along with it, then you are going to be rewarded with a freedom. Now, the next one, which is the fourth card here, uh, that will be the Two of Cups and... Yeah, well, uh, for those who are single, well, and even not for those who are single, well, say it that way, Queen uh, Two of Cups, it's about love. Everybody knows that. But Two of Cups is also about union, okay? It's about a mutual experiences. Therefore, the card itself kind of points that you are going to maintain rather a good interactions and good relationships with the people around you, especially your co-workers, especially your family, not to mention your beloved one, your person of interest, and you know, your wife or a husband. But those who are searching for love, now that card here points to the appearance of the one who can give you one. It's not going to be the Queen of Wands though. These are two different people that we're talking about. With the Queen of Wands, you have to take it more like a uh, business partner or a, a person who helps you overcome things rather than as a, someone who can share an, an emotional connection with. But definitely, guys, uh, Pisces, if you are craving for love, that is the week where you're going to find one, one here with the Two of Cups. How lasting that, one's is, that one is going to be? Well, that depends entirely on what kind of an option available you're going to end up with because the Two of Cups promises you love. It does not promise you that this is going to be a sustainable one, all right? It's just, it's a matter of your personal preferences and it's a matter of, um, you know, how you'll play your cards from now on. One thing, if this is about love, though, it's... Um, Pride and shyness, it is what can obstruct you of having it. What I mean, it is that whenever you find someone that you're falling in love with, well, then you should put your pride and shyness on the shelf and approach them and uh, vice versa as well. Now, the next one, which is the fifth card here, is going to be the Two of Swords. So, Two of Swords, it's... Um, how can I say it? Well, it kind of contradicts the Six of Swords, to be honest here. Two of Swords, uh, it kind of uh, comes around in this reading to me as a uh, guidance card more than anything else. 
it kind of points that somewhere along the way as you will have to uh, perform or rather like incorporate and important decisions or unimportant actions at some point you are going to be baffled what kind of decision and what kind of action you have to make because it will seem that whatever you do is going to make either the same difference or is not gonna make difference at all. In those kind of um, situations, the Two of Swords advises you to not to rush things around because before you consider what to do, you have to be able to see the situation through all points of view. Therefore, the card itself advises and gives a guidance that if you are patient to wait long enough, whenever you are baffled with a decision you have to make or with an action that you have to take, um, the right decision or the right action is going to become obvious to you as long as you once again are patient to wait long enough. Additionally to that, the Two of Swords here points that throughout the week, everything will hang on into very precious equilibrium, all right? So you, may, you can expect that clashes of forces, okay, of two opposing forces is going to be uh, set into a standstill, meaning no one is going to be uh, victorious. Um, the sixth card here that we do have, it is the Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Pentacles to me correlates very tightly with the Six of Swords. It does point that throughout this week, it is time for you finally, finally to start manifesting whatever you have planned or whatever have taken a, a lot of time to be planned. It could be business, it could be a relationship as well. You know, whatever your dream is about and if this is not related directly to your dream. You know, person has a dream, okay? And it has a plan how to get to that dream. Well, for this plan we are talking about, it is the week where you have to start manifesting this particular plan. Additionally to that, the Eight of Pentacles here points that whatever um, enterprise you are to tackle with throughout the week is gonna be somewhat interesting to you and you're gonna find great value into it, therefore, you are going to attend to it with a, a huge portion of conscientiousness and you're gonna have that keen eye and subtlety as well to attend to the minor details in it. Uh, and finally, what we do have, it is the seventh card and that will be the High Priestess. So High Priestess, it's a bit of a, um, I, it's quite of a, a broad in that particular, uh, in that particular reading. Uh, one thing I'm going to tell you though, Pisces, now if this is about love for you guys, the High Priestess points that if you fall in love throughout the week, well, that is going to be your love, all right? It's, there is no question about it and you have to do whatever you can in order to sustain it and to transform it, to traverse it into a, a long-lasting one. Another thing about the High Priestess, it is that you are going to obtain an insight into the how the things are going to develop. Almost like being a psychic, but not exactly. That will be dictated through your inner voice, and inner voice it is like a um, experience that you had no idea you have, all right? It could be an experience from past life, could be an experience from a situation from your childhood, for example, that you have forgot about, but that thing is going to reappear once again. And you are going to be convinced that certain things need to, need to be attended in a certain way. Why? You will have no idea though. And that's why it will be very difficult for you to explain yourself as we saw in the Eight of Swords card. And for that reason, you need to be much more elaborative. The thing is, that whenever the High Priestess sits at the end of the reading, in this string reading for you, uh, the week is going to be quite productive, career or relationship-wise. It seems that you are going to situate yourself in a position from which you can um, establish a, a long-lasting enterprise, either career one or either relationship one, or maybe both as well. It does depend on what kind of a situation you're in. So just a final thoughts here of your reading, guys. Um, Queen of Wands, one person we do have, which helps you most likely with your business and with your private stuff, and another whom you can be emotionally attached to in case you are single or if you are not, well, then the two of cups 
here only says that your love to the one that you are with is going to get even deeper than what it is right now. So yeah, that being said, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. You were pleased with uh, this way of reading. And uh, we're going to see how we're going to go by with uh, for the future of this channel. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.